After a recent rise in smash and grabs and deadly shootings across Memphis, State Senator Brent Taylor now applying public pressure to what he calls a crime crisis. As I have just watched crime just spiral out of control. Taylor is calling for an investigation into Shelby County Criminal Court Judge Paula Scan and the Shelby County District Attorney's Office and their reduced sentences in recent cases. Uh, but in the case of Courtney Anderson, um, you know, I've asked the Board of Judicial Conduct to to conduct an investigation into that, but we already know from the appellate court opinion that overturned Judge Scon's decision. We already know that they believe the judge acted improperly. In Courtney Anderson's case, he was released in 2022 after serving 25 years. In October, a state appeals court reinstated that sentence, saying Judge Scan did not have proper jurisdiction and that only the governor could commute a sentence. Uh, it even says in the opinion that uh, the district attorney's office and the judge uh, colluded. They had a predetermined outcome before they ever had a hearing. And that that type of activity destroys a criminal justice system. In another case, Michael Sample had his death sentence vacated after he was found to have intellectual disabilities that prevented his execution. Judge Scan vacated the death sentence and D.A. Mulroy didn't challenge it. In a statement to WREG Wednesday, D.A. Mulroy defended his office's actions in both cases and says, quote, we have a serious crime problem and need to work together to solve it. If they want to save people from the life of crime, then I would recommend they resign and join the ministry and become a pastor and save people that way and leave prosecuting to people who are serious about saving our community from the ravages of crime. In Memphis, Shay Simon, WREG News, Channel 3. And we reached out to Judge Scan. She tells us she will respond to Taylor directly in a written letter.